social media socialites welcome to today's vlog um, I know it's late <laughs> it's about 5 35 45 today and um, as you can see I am still in my office I have so much that I need to catch up on um, I have been gone I have been on a mini tour <laughs> for the past three weeks you guys know I was in um, the Bahamas and then after I left the Bahamas, I came back to Atlanta for only like a few hours. Then I had to go to South Carolina, I went to North Carolina. Then I went to Las Vegas and I was in Las Vegas for a week with the team there, um, doing some training for some things we have coming up. And then I was in New Orleans. So this is my first time really being home in I would say roughly about three weeks. So it does feel good to be home, but I have so much that I need to do. Today has been a hectic, hectic day. Um, I'm in the process of hiring five new interns, so um, was doing that. Um, I spoke today with the dean of business at one of the HBCUs that I am really excited about working with. I think you guys know this. I know I've mentioned it before, but I have a new book that's coming out. It's called Black Owned. It's a black owned business book. It's a book that's dedicated specifically to the African American entrepreneur. It's black owned. It talks about how you're able to get funding to grow your black owned business. But so anyway, today I had been talking with um, the Dean of Business at one of the HBCUs that um, we're looking to go speak at, as well as um, some individuals in the conscious community um, they reached out to me a while back ago and we were able to kind of put some tour dates in between there so I'm really excited about that so I'm about to and I had mentioned it before but I didn't go into detail because I had missed my flight <laughs> but I'm gonna go into detail more about the whole entire speaking tour whatnot but um, I really want to just hit all the HBCUs that I can um, talking about entrepreneurship being a black owned business and how to grow and fund your black owned business But anyway guys, so like I said, it's been three weeks since I've been home and I need some new cologne And I am going to go and get the new Creed Viking. Yeah, so um, last night I was um, <laughs> I'm Searching on Facebook like I normally do and in Facebook um, I'm a part of a group that's called Sense Scent Gents and um, I had did a post talking about, oh man, you know, Creed Viking isn't here. Now, Creed Viking came out on October the 1st. Today is October the 5th. And um, when I did the search, it said that it wasn't available. Well, inside the group Scent Gents, my homeboy, Derek, was like, hey, I know the guy who does fragrances. Give him a call. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, Scent Gents is a really cool Facebook group. It's open to the public. It's free. Um, there's going to be a link in the description if you guys want to um, check them out but um, yeah so I gave my man a call and he said that he had a couple of bottles for me so I am going to go and I am going to see which one is better Creed Viking Creed Aventus or the um, White Mountain Spring <laughs> so it's fall um, you know like I said it's October and I need a new fragrance so I said hmm let me go and see what the new Creed is talking about and um, I'm going to see which is better Creed Adventus or Creed Viking or the um, white water spring I think that's what they call it and surprisingly enough I'm just finding out about the um, white water spring or the white the white spring water they have funny names forgive me guys for all of my fragrance heads forgive me guys I am exhausted I have been on the phone all day I am hungry the only thing I had to eat this morning was a smoothie and half a order of um, blueberry pancakes from IHOP. <laughs> so I am hungry. I'm tired. But anyway, um, I'm going to check it out, 
see which one I like better, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I know it's late in the day. Sorry for just starting my vlog, but hey, better late than never, but never late is better, you dig? So <laughs> let's go and um, see what this fragrance is all about, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Guys, look at this Atlanta traffic. This is crazy, right? <sighs> the good thing is that my offices are not too far away from Neiman Marcus. Um, but my guy, he's closing today. But um, look at this traffic. This traffic is crazy. The cool thing about being up here is I can see that is the city of Alpharetta. I think that's where I might be moving to, guys. Um, I've been searching. You guys know I've been searching and looking and looking and searching. But after this whole tour that I've been on, i taken taking a pause for searching for a second. But I do think after everything, I think I'm just going to go look. Because, you know, my office is not too far away from that area. So I think I'm just going to go look in the Alpharetta area. Um, it's nice. It's really nice. And when I thought about it, I'm like, why do I need to be any other place? I mean, my office is centrally located. It's cool to be downtown, but the condo was nice, but it didn't have that je ne sais quoi. <laughs> it didn't have that je ne sais quoi that I was looking for. So I am um, about to finish up here, guys, um, and go jump in this traffic. I'm just exhausted. I'm just exhausted, guys. I'm just so tired. I apologize. I'm just like, this is raw <laughs> and real. Today has been a very, very long day. I'm excited about the changes. I'm excited about all the good stuff that's happening. Um, the book will actually be here next week. So um, I'll be able to actually have some of the pre-copies available. Um, they won't be, it won't be out, but we finally finalized everything. It's just so much going on. You know what I'm saying? Just so much going on i'm grateful for it i wouldn't change it for nothing in the world at the same time the the pressure it never goes away the anxiety the stress the it never goes away that's one of the things that i had to realize is that there's always going to be something that you need to do that helped me to cope realizing that it's always going to be something that you need to do and if you can't finish it then just do it the next day it's okay it's not the end of the world and the things that you must do that are the end of the world then jump on those now um my man harold my my realtor that was telling me he said something that really brought um he said something that really brought um this to my attention he said that most of the time our anxiety is because we're doing something that we should not be doing or we're not doing something that we should be doing. So if you can remedy the situation, the anxiety will leave. And once I brought it down to the simplest form, I was like, that's so true. It helped me to um, be able to deal and, and compensate or whatnot. Ambition is a phenomenal thing. But sometimes ambition can, can really get to you. But nevertheless, guys, all right, enough of me rambling. I'm just dreading having to go get in this traffic. And I need to get something to eat. And I know downstairs cafeteria is closed. Let's go check anyway and see what they got. Guys, I got to get this box to the car. It was waiting for me um, when I got into my office today. Got to carry this box and see what's in it. Raise so many rock, no diamonds on me dancing. When you're working hard, then your money start expanding. Get ready to go fight through this Atlanta traffic and head to Neiman Marcus and pick up some cologne. Hey. 
Now that's interesting because if everything produces after its own kind, we now see God producing man. And if God now produces man, and everything produces after its own kind, if horses get together, they produce what? And if dogs get together, they produce what? If cats get together, they produce what? Godhead gets together and say, let us make man, then what are they producing? They're producing gods. Now, I got to hit this thing real hard in the very beginning because I ain't got time to go through all this, but I'm going to say to you right now, you are gods, little g. You are gods because you came from God and you are gods. You're not just human. The only human part about you is this physical body that you live in. social media socialites we made it through the traffic it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad it took us maybe 35 40 minutes <laughs> but when there's no traffic to get from my office to um lennox mall it only takes me 15 minutes so it wasn't that bad but um we are about to go in um neiman marcus now before i go in here listen i don't want to hear none of this foolishness about dean why are you so flashy dean why you spend so much money on cologne? Dean, I don't get it. Listen, this is a business expense. And that's why I'm going to use business credit to pay for it. Yes, this is a business expense. This is a business expense, yes. So the clothes that you wear, the car that you drive, when you are set up the proper way as a true legitimate business, not as a sole proprietor, not as somebody hustling, trapping out the trunk of their car, but if you are a legitimate business and you have a proper business structure and you have a primary car and then you have your business vehicle, um, then you're able to do business, these considered business write-offs. Same thing with your clothes, the suits that I wear, business write-off, the cologne, business write-off when I get my hair cut business write-off so I would much rather enjoy life have a nice lifestyle get the best out of life than to pay Uncle Sam listen when you set yourself up the proper way it's not considered illegal when you are doing it the right way you are allotted to do it as an entrepreneur that's why it's CEO lifestyle this is how CEOs do it that's how CEOs do it so I said all of that to say this so when you see $450, $600, $900 for cologne. Mm -mm. Listen, don't come for me in the comments. Listen, see your lifestyle, especially when you're using business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit. That's right. It's completely separate from my personal credit because it's a business expense. Let me explain how it's a business expense. You only get one chance to make a first impression. When I go into a meeting, the first thing that they see, they're going to judge me by how I look. They're going to judge me by my presence and they're going to judge me by how I smell. It just is what it is. So Creed is a niche. It's considered a niche brand. Um, it's above a luxury brand. So a luxury brand might be something like Christian Dior, Versace. Um, who else is a nice um, luxury brand? Um, East Saint Laurent. Those are considered luxury brands. Their niche brands are specific brands that all they do is fragrance. They don't do nothing else. Like East Saint Laurent, they do clothes. Versace, they do clothes. Christian Dior, they do clothes. But um, like Bond Number no. Nine, all they do is fragrance. Creed, all they do is fragrance. Boucheron, all they do is fragrance. You understand what I'm saying? So I said all of that to say that um, people who know it, when they smell it. They automatically know. Now, that's one thing that's new about this. I normally don't tell anybody 
what I wear. I, I am very, very picky about telling people what I wear. Women are asking me, ooh, what you got on? Or dudes are like, hey, homie, what you wearing? I never tell people because I don't like for people to smell like me. I messed around and told my, my best friend about Creed. He go buy it because he talking about some, yeah, man, I was in the mall and, you know, my wife, she smelt it and she started rubbing on her arm just because she smelt it. I'm like, come on with the game, man. <laughs> but anyway, I love them dearly. I love them dearly. <laughs> so I can share that with them. So I will, you know, I guess I will. I won't tell you guys everything, but I will tell you. I will share this, guys. I will share this with you. Um, because a lot of people have been wanting to know what the new Creed smells like. Um, a lot of people thought that the new Creed was actually um, a publicity stunt. It was a joke. But no, it is here. Creed Viking is here. So I'm going to see which one is better, Creed Viking or Advantis. Now, um, whether I pay $45 for a bottle of cologne or I pay $450 for a bottle of cologne, it's a business expense. Whether I pay $1,000 for a pair of shoes or I pay $100 for a pair of shoes, it is a business expense. Whether I get me a suit that costs me $100 off the rack or I get a tailor-made suit that's $1,200. Is still a business expense the difference is what you are expensing your lifestyle and how you're set up but um so don't come for me in the comments talking about ding yourself flashy ding this na 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 This is the creme de la creme, and we're gonna see what Viking is talking about. Um, uh, I just prayed on the um, tweet that um, I always get the names so confused because you know they're so precise. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, in the Creed family, if it doesn't smell good, it'll be, you won't be here that long. That's true. They'll, 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 <laughs> they'll send you to the ball. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Unless it's so, like a reading or something they can't get. And all of these are 450 a piece? Um, no, no, it varies. It okay. depends on so the, what's in the one, scent. Uh -huh. So I, like, I pulled the larger bottles of these three. Okay. Because this is what you were saying. Mm -hmm. So for instance, this larger bottle, Silver Mountain Water is 395, Tim. Okay. So like this is 395. Okay. As where this is for 425. 425, 425 okay. And Viking is 495. 495, okay. So they're, they're, yeah, they're three okay. different prices. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Now there's a size down that's mm -hmm. 350. Mm, it's developing. I love it. Yeah. I mean, we just launched it. Oh my God. We just launched it on the first and we still probably, oh my God. It's 80, developing. 80 bottles. 80 bottles. Yeah. It's developing. Easily. And the thing I like about, see, I originally, how the conversation with Derek and I started was mm -hmm. I needed some more advantage. Uh -huh. Because I've been on a speaking tour and I've been going for a month. Oh, wow. So we're well, close to a month. So I was like, I, but then he was like, you know, the new um, Viking is coming Viking out. Is out. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about it is I don't like people to smell like me. That irritates a black mm -hmm. on my back. That, and all my friends, <laughs> they know what you get. So yeah. that's, that's why what usually makes when me, I wear them, I actually wear like more than one and together. The, okay. So that you can't really Because I actually like these two together. I've actually already worn those worn two together. Worn those two together? Okay. And it's very nice. I put the um, Aventus on first and then mm -hmm. I put the Viking on top of it. It was good. Yeah, See, really I haven't good. got into that because um, there's a well, the you molecule. Should, if you want to be unique. Yeah, because molecule, they say molecule yeah. brings things out too of the fragrance and I have not tried to add <laughs> I haven't tried to add molecule yet oh this is developing nicely mm, this is definitely developing nicely this is definitely developing nicely and of course everybody knows the cream but um alright so I definitely I'm, I'm going to get the um, Viking okay. yeah I'm going ahead and get the Viking because I'm tired of smelling like all my friends. And, I, and all of us get in one room and everybody, who got on Creed? And all of us, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, I'm definitely gonna get the Viking. Um, oh, let me get the All right, let's see. What are the, the um, different sizes? Is it just? I know some of it looks like the bottle is cut in half, right? Well, what's, oh, no. so what's show, happening yeah, is what's me. happening is Cree had a bunch of sizes. Now mm -hmm. they're going down to just two sizes. Okay. And until we're gonna sell through all the other sizes, and you mm -hmm. won't be able to get them no more, and they'll okay. just come in 50 milliliters or 100 milliliters. Okay. Besides the flacons. Okay. So now uh, you were telling me about. Could you explain the flacon? This is me? a flacon. This okay. is an 8.4 ounce bottle, but it's a pourable, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have a sprayer on the top of it. You okay. actually have glass. to buy. It has a yeah, glass top. Okay. And you have to buy a atomizer to. Okay. Pour that into. Okay. Okay. All right. So that so that'll be good, I guess, for travel. when you travel. That's yes. exactly what it's made for. Because when I I was going through TSA and I was like, I would be pissed off. Yeah. If I just because you can't this take any, yeah, you any can't bottle take... over one hundred milliliters. Mm -hmm, so let's say you had a bottle of milliliters like this, mm -hmm. you couldn't take this on the plane. With you. mm -hmm. You'd have to put this in your yeah. check-in. Mm -hmm. It's also a really super good value mm -hmm. because if you buy, like, say you love Aventus and mm -hmm. you're constantly replenishing mm -hmm. your bottle, mm -hmm. you can get a whole size like that for uh, five fifty. Okay. And you can see this is four fifty. So okay. this is an eight point three ounce. Okay. And this is a, uh, a three. So this is five fifty, and this is four fifty. Uh, four twenty. Four twenty five. Mm -hmm. But okay, so you can just replenish. Yeah, yeah. In this, you can replenish. And also, this is like um, how many bottles? Almost three. In yeah, five. it would so say. You yeah. Can see where it's a good value. Because this is three point okay. three ounces, and mm -hmm. this is eight point four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. For a yeah. difference wow. of a hundred dollars. And it's just because of the container. And can I see the um, mm -hmm. one the of the um, atomizer, please? Yeah. This is a 50 mil, so this mm -hmm. is going to be your best value. And this one you can put on the, the plane? Oh, yeah. So this They're one clearly can... marked at the bottom, okay. so they will not take it from Okay, you. that's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. And, and how much are these? These are leather clad, Italian leather mm -hmm. clad, and they're 215. Okay, it's definitely Comes good. with an oversized funnel, and you'll never have to replen uh, replace these. It's definitely Yeah. And then these are... Point ten, so they're very small. This is a fifty mil. That's a ten mil. This one's one seventy five. It's definitely well worth it. Definitely well worth it. The travel, because I sure was thinking, I'm like, man, I hate to check my bag and then it explodes and yeah. get all over the get place. All your mm. Or those are shatterproof, leak proof. That's good. That's good stuff. social media socialites so I have made it back home um, I did go ahead and I got the Creed um, Viking um, and I wanted to get home get something to eat I was famished I was starving my stomach was touching my back I wanted to get showered and I wanted to get good and clean so that I can see how this did with my body chemistry based on me being fresh and clean because today has been a hectic day guys and you know i believe in energy and you know your body emits certain hormones and everything so i wanted to give it a really good smell and the reason why i decided to get the um the viking because it developed so well in the store um they also gave me look me and marcus is so cool look they gave me these little cute little things my daughter is gonna love this she's gonna make this into um I know she's going to put this in her doll. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this in her doll house so she can have some creed for her little dolls. That's so cool. But anyway, um, I really wanted to um, to get into a good, comfortable environment so I could um, properly give my critique on this. Now, before... I apologize for that, guys. That was a, um, a female friend of mine. No, my work day does not stop. It is, what, 11.45 and I'm still working. But anyway, so before I get into this, um, I have to say I am not 
a fragrance guru. I am not a fragrance um, perfumer. <laughs> I am just a person who enjoys niche and luxury fragrance and luxury items. And so I am not going to have the exact verbiage, the exact terminology. I am just a patron. So don't kill me or hang me if I'm not saying the proper tones or notes. I'm just giving you a everyday man's perspective because I saw a lot of things on YouTube where it's these specialists, but not that everyday man. Like, I don't know what bergamot smells like like i don't know what bergamot smells like you know what i'm saying so i can just put it in layman's terms but nevertheless if you do want that special niche and that special breakdown there's a link in the description that'll take you to fragrance gents there's a lot of those guys in fragrance gents and also somebody who i follow who i like a lot is um jeremy fragrance he's a really cool dude i really like jeremy fragrance um i don't know of any african-american guys that are really good that i would want to recommend that i know of personally but um jeremy fragrance is a really good guy so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this so this is my take on um on the creed it is very very good it's very very nice it is um very reminiscent of the creed adventist when it comes to that musky musty um sexiness that powdery sexiness now when you first open this guys it's very important to know that you have to make sure that you have your cards if you open it and you don't have your cards, then you probably got scammed. So if it does not come with this card, then you need to be careful. There are some people out there selling Creed online for like $200, $300, and it's nothing but snake oil or different oil. So the first card that you get is going to be this um this Creed card of the founders. If you don't have this card, then you probably got a fake. Then the other card you're going to get is more of a certificate, uh, more, than, more than a card, but it's more like paperwork. So make sure that you have this if you're ordering online. If you don't have that, then ask for your money back because nine times out of ten, it's fake. And when you open it up, um, you'll notice that the um, Creed has somewhat of a yellowish tint to it. Um, it has a very nice, um, fiery um tint to it i guess that's why they call it viking and some of the artwork has fire because um unlike the creed aventus the creed aventus is clear um because it has that that sexy that sexy excuse me it has that sexy powdery um pineapple fragrance um to it but this here has somewhat of and i, I won't say peppermint on the website they call it peppermint but it's more of a mint it's a it's very sexy, very minty. It has somewhat of some centrus to it. Um, I don't want to call it um, orange or grapefruit. It's um, it has a really, really, really nice, um, really nice finish to it once it does um, die down. So, like I said, it is what um, I've been home for maybe two hours and. Um, the spray is really good. Let me see if you guys can see the spray trajectory on it. Yeah. The spray on it is so good. It's like the first thing is it starts off with the, um, and also I like to spray um, cologne on my beard too. Uh, that's just me because, you know, pheromones or whatnot. But um, it smells so good. When you first spray it on, you get an intense um, mint and then the mint subsides you get some spiciness there's some spiciness to it as well um, it's not a, a lot of spiciness but it um, does give you that punch of spiciness it smells so good and when it soaks into my skin um, it definitely does radiate it does not radiate as much as Aventus does um, I've been wearing it for the past three hours so we're gonna see how it does but um, it smells so good I think that um, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, this weekend, because I have a busy schedule tomorrow. My schedule tomorrow is ridiculous. I think I have like 18 consultations and some one-on-one -on -one consultings. But I think maybe this weekend I am going to go back and get the Aventus, um, the larger bottle, because I didn't realize for $100 more, you get almost twice the amount. 
So if you guys remember the larger bottle that they were showing right next to the Aventus, it's three times the amount for only $100 more. And Aventus is one of my favorite fragrances. So it makes sense to just go and do that. So this weekend, I'm going to do that because this does do well. It performs extremely well. Very sexy. It's very new. It's fresh. Um, there is somewhat of a freshness that I do get from it. When I first spray it on, I do get a freshness. Like I said, I'm not the technical guru guy, but the overall sexiness that I get from this is this powdery, minty um, brightness. It's very, very sexy. Um, matter of fact, it reminds me of the powderiness of Burberry Touch for Women. Listen, listen, baby, listen to me. Any lady that wants me all on their neck, that doggone Burberry Touch for Women, it it makes it literally gives me butterflies. <laughs> I don't know if there was something going on in my 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 life because you know it's psychosomatic smells are psychosomatic. So I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is, but um something about that dog on Burberry touch, it gives me butterflies. This doesn't give me butterflies, but it does give me that similar sexiness when it comes to that powderiness, that powdery musk of it. Um, it's not as bright um, as the Creed Aventus, and the Creed Aventus is just top notch. You just It just radiates and it emits tremendously. So I'm looking forward to see how well this performs, but I am gonna go back um, this weekend and get that larger craft of, um, of um, Aventus and then just put it in my old bottle and then put it in that travel container. But guys, that is it. Thank you for watching today's vlog. It's been long. I'm tired. I appreciate you. Thank you so much um, for your support. Um, the channel is growing tremendously. We hit over 5,000 subscribers. I'm so very grateful for that. And I appreciate you guys. Listen, the only person stopping you from being successful is you. <laughs> If you want to learn how to build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit and you want to know how you can spend um, 500 about to be a thousand dollars business expense in your business name for business write-offs using business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit, there is a link in the description that'll take you to my online course where I teach you how you're able to be a successful entrepreneur where you don't have to be broke. It's, 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 you don't have to be broke as a business owner. You, you don't, you don't, you don't have to be a starving artist. You don't, you don't have to be a broke ministry worker. You don't, if you build your business a proper way and you understand banking and finance and the guidelines, then you can use leverage and you can enjoy your life. We're supposed to have days of pleasure and years of prosperity, but let me get off my soapbox guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And remember the only person stopping you from being successful is you. Go get them. Success is waiting for you.